What up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Hollywood here for another dope interview, man. If you don't know, the It's More Than Music channel is all about dope, dope, dope content. Uh, we do a lot of interviews, we tap in with a lot of independent artists. We even do uh, product reviews, man. But today, man, we have a very special episode, man. First and foremost, shout out to Sabor Caribeño, which is my guy Steve's uh, restaurant out here in Troy, New York. So if you're looking for some fine, uh, Latin cuisine, pop out Troy, New York, man. Um, but yes, on top of that, if you are new to the channel, man, subscribe, um, like, and all that good stuff, man. Um, but we have a very special guest uh, coming in from his ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my son. laughs> uh, we got my guy Dunstan in the building. I said it right, right? Yeah, Dunstan. Dunstan. Wag on. Yo, well, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wag on. I see what he did there. I see what he did there. Uh, how you feeling, man? I'm good, man. I'm chilling, you know. It's just a long ass day, isn't it? But we're back, we back here. How about you, man? What, what uh, I, good day, man. Same, same thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it was a long one, but, uh, um, you know. Another day, another blessing, man. That's how I look at it. That's what you could do, isn't it? What, what, so what's, what's, a, what's a regular day for, for Dunstan look like? What, what does it consist of? So you see, because I'm not currently, uh, I'm not top tier artist, isn't it? So yeah. I gotta make money elsewhere. Uh -huh. So I work on cars. Oh, So okay. I work on cars and then it's, you know, I get up, do my, do my nine to five. Like, like mechanic then, type thing? No, nah, I do auto body. So oh. I'm doing like actual like paint, like body work and stuff. Oh, fire. So I do the auto body of it and then it's like, do that, get out of there, yeah, <laughs> get yeah, out, and then I've got a studio. To, clock like, out to clock back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm clocking yeah. into the next thing. So it's like I'm coming onto the next shift from it. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I dig that. I dig That's that, it. man. Uh, yeah, shout out to my guy P, man, for uh, connecting mm, us mm. with uh, this interview, man. Uh, super dope dude. And uh, he's always scouting out the talent, man. So oh, yeah. how, how, did you, how did you and P meet? I'm, I met him through uh, DLC. Uh, Dio, so I'd, I'd link with Dio, Doc, yeah, I link with with Doc quite a, a minute ago because we got a record together. Mm -hmm. So and I'd I'd link with him. I think back in like May or like April or something because he would like seen my music on a live stream and yeah. then it would just and then P were in a studio session that I went to with Doc. Mm -hmm. So I met him through that and then he would just be buzzing my ting ever since. So big right. up the man, then honestly. Right, right, right. <laughs> so that's man. my guy, Dio. <laughs> big up the man. We gonna tap. We gonna yeah. tap into uh, that record and more about Doc mm -hmm. later. Um, but first and foremost, also a disclaimer, man, we are at uh, Steve's Bar in Troy, New York, but my guy Dunstan is 20. He's not allowed to yeah, drink my... on these ends. In the other ends where he's from, no, just he's, yet. Allowed, he's allowed Too to drink young. there, but he's got another year, so you're 20 years old, man. Yeah. Um, how, how long you been in uh, the U.S.? I've been in the U.S. like nine years. Nine? Yeah, okay. so I've been here a minute. Word. But... And you're originally from? Yorkshire, England. England. So I'm from the north, north of England. Okay. Bit different to London, so you know. What are, what are some, when you first came here, what are some big differences that you like you noticed out the gate that you were like, yo, this is this is crazy. Just like, I th I like it was weird, right? Like, oh, highways, highways. The hi there's no highways out there. Now we got highways, but you guys don't have any lights on them at night. Oh. We have lights on them. Oh, that's all lit up, and like. They can, so got, it's like it's almost like yeah. how the streets are. Yeah, there's, exactly. There's, but uh, it's on highways too, and it's just like how dark it gets and shit. And yeah. it's just like not only that, but just like a lot more like cultural differences, really. Mm -hmm. Like obviously, like just there's just so many things like people wise and stuff, and like between social interactions that are just right, like right, right. so different to you know we're kind of more like introverted in the UK. Yeah, that's yeah. just our like you know, but like once you know that's kind of how everybody is with everybody. But like here, it's like a different, different star. Everybody's yeah. got this like energy and shit. Yeah, it's, super <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Have Have you yeah. been? Uh, so we're upstate for those who mm. don't know right now. We're upstate in Troy, New York, uh, right next to the capital of New York, which is Albany, New York. Um, and then uh, downstate, you got New York City, which a lot of people think is the capital of New York, <laughs> but it's actually yeah. Albany, New York. So I so, so have, you've been to New York City? Yeah, I, I go quite a lot. Okay, yeah. and uh, what, what's the, I know when you say energy, I automatically think NYC. So yeah. we, your yeah. first time when you were there, what what was, uh, like you've been on, oh did you take, God. you took the trains and all that? I think, you got I, I, think I did like a tourist thing when I first got there. Like you, it was you like to the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, well like I tell you, <laughs> like a tourist thing. Yeah, no, I got there and it was like, <laughs> I went to the Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, like, yeah. you know, Times Square, Central Park, like, yeah. oh. But now it's like, 
I'm down there a, a lot because I got mandem now. Yo, so. you know what's crazy? For the mm. record, literally, people who are from New York City, like, rarely they go. They don't. I've heard they that. They rarely yeah, go. Yeah, they like, say that. Like, I've been in the Statue of Liberty, so I, I grew up in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, was, I lived out there for 18 years, and I've been to the Statue of Liberty probably once. Really? Ever. Yeah, once. And I was like a school what? field trip. No, <laughs> even like, like, to, like, you've not even gone down to like Lower Manhattan and like seen it? Yeah, all? yeah. Like, yeah. Like, lower lower oh, Manhattan. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I was like, say. No, no, no. For sure. <laughs> I've been in Manhattan, like, yeah. you know, 42nd. Like, yeah, for example, I've never been to watch the ball drop. Like, People from New York City oh. don't do that because it's just... Yeah, I, I mean, I can see why that wouldn't really be like a... But, a lot, but it's yeah. funny because a lot of people come from all over the Elsewhere, world to do exactly yeah. that. That's and the thing about like, the city, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah just yeah. loads of different people all mixed. It's yeah, like, no, it's, it's, like, it's so interesting, man. It's, it's so cool, though. No, I, lo- I love going down there because I do... Because um, there's some work that I've been kind of doing down there and, you know, mingling in. I'm trying to get some shows down there, so it's like mm. I want to I really kind of like branch my way to that yeah. with that being like where a lot of that music kind of scene is that yeah. I end up doing so mm-hmm. yeah so uh you dropped a new single is it what two weeks ago or I think it was two weeks yeah two or weeks maybe ago? a week and a half or something. um but before we get into that I want to mm-hmm. definitely you know I'm, I'm big on letting people know why it's more than music and you know getting some more details behind the artist so yeah. what made you get into doing music I've been doing music about eight years um and I started uh, I mean, I started playing guitar at a young age. Oh, and then okay. oh you like, play instruments. Yeah, so I play guitar uh, and I kind of like self-taught myself that. Um, and then it was like the music production thing just came out. Like that's how originally I started making music produce with too? producing. Yeah, oh, so that's how nice. I started. And I, I remember it was just like, I think my, my dad had like a tablet at the time and he had like <laughs> garage band on it. Something in like 2012 or something. And I was uh-huh. just like, yo, I'm like, I've got to. Let me let me like start just like messing around with it, and it was yeah. kind of on and off, and then and then like I ended up getting to like FL Studio, and then I was like, FL. What, what, yeah. do you, what do you cook up in now? I'm cooking up in FL or Logic, so it's kind Logic, of between yeah, both. Yeah. Logic's yeah. just kind of structure and shit, but like mm. FL just for like beats on the go, it's pretty easy. So That's it's fire. like, but but now nah, it was just you know, and then through like high school and stuff like, you know, when I was in school and stuff, I, I ended up kind of releasing my own first. I guess raps like I started to rap and then it yeah. was just like from there then I'm like you know I'll, I'll do producing for a bit I got a few placements and then after that I'm just like well, I'm, I'm gonna rap again so, I made a name a different so way so who was the first person that was like yo Dunson you need to like you need to like really take this serious who was that first person for you I'd, honestly I think it was my so shout out my guy Harry my graphic designer he does all oh, my covers that guy is a mad thing but yeah he, he does all my brand awareness too but he, you mm. know he's like my visuals um but I think he ended up saying it to me because I was just like making tight beats and, and then he's like, bro, he's like, why don't you rap over? <laughs> like, man, like actually like do something with one of these and I'm just like, all right, bet. Yeah. So I started to spit on them again. Like I think 2020, I started like rapping on things properly. Like even tw- uh, 2019, I made like some of my first rap songs in 2018, but they were, they were just dark. Yeah, I, just, I put that shit, I wasn't jacking it. So I put that shit down and then I picked it back up again, like during COVID, and I'm like, I, you know, I'm like our mm. inside and shit. So I'm yeah. just like, let me, let me start actually like putting something together, and then here you are. That's yeah. dope. That's dope. <laughs> uh, so now, originally from the UK mm. and coming to New York, mm. um, there was some stuff that I wanted to like bring up. So you just said you said mad thing. What's <laughs> what's mad thing. so? There's a couple different words that I'm gonna. Uh, say and then I want you to break it down into like what it means and then I'll try to say like the New York version of it. All right. Mm, so mm, like mm. So, oh, we'll see. so somebody says so you said mad ting. What yeah. what, what is what is what what does that mean? That's like, crazy. Crazy that's mad. That's ja- yeah. Like that's insane. Like like, like uh, so like in a New Yorker would say like that's fire or like that's, oh, yeah. that's lit. Yeah, I, I hear that. That's the one I hear a lot here. I have to use that with people because it's like so they know what I mean. Right, like, that's right. madness. That's a mad thing. You're like, why are you that's upset? Crazy. Why are yeah, you upset? Like, why, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> man, what? <laughs> Another one is, uh, uh, this is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. In it. <laughs> I love it. So <laughs> I say it all the time, in it. So, yeah. so why, uh, what, what does in it mean? What, isn't it, it? Isn't it? It just means isn't it, but, but like it's almost used like a statement. So you'd be like, oh, that, that's mad, isn't it? Oh, like it's okay. like at the end of something. Oh, oh, oh that's bear whack fam. Like that's bear whack family, isn't it? So that's like, like uh, that's like a New Yorker saying like facts. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like it's like it's like just. But I don't know because it's like you could use facts to like acknowledge someone else, whereas in it's just kind of like putting like a statement at the end of a sentence that you've said. Uh, okay, and so it's like it's like you know you know when girls 
like say like period like yes that? okay kind of but it's like but it i don't know because it's used as well like it, it is like a, a, a part of a statement because it's like you can use it in so many different aspects that like you can mm. say it isn't it yeah but that's in it like <laughs> you got right. to look at it like but then some people say like they'll they'll just have it in regular conversation they'll be like oh can you grab me water in it ah. like so like it'll, it's weird it's a weird it's got like a weird usage but ah isn't uh, that isn't that interesting isn't yeah it, isn't it <laughs> i like that one That's it, isn't if, it? if i if i ever uh if i ever um, had an accent, so so I'm Jamaican. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and my family's Jamaican. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if I ever had an accent, I would probably pick either a UK accent or a very hard uh, like Jamaican accent. That, those, oh, those really? Ones you get. too? Uh, actually, I have um, I have some family that actually lives out in uh in the UK. Oh uh, yeah. I forgot. Is there a Bridgeport or something like that? Something there, like is. there. Okay. There is, it yeah. it, it, it well, might south. be that. It might be that, but I'm not exactly sure. But uh, yeah, shout out, oh, to my, shout out to Uncle Vin, <laughs> isn't it? Shout out to that fam in the end. <laughs> yes. Uh, and hold on, I had another one, another one. It was uh, mate. 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 What, what's, what's mate? It's like, mate, it's like dude. Dude? But like, oh, like a, bl- I, you wouldn't say like a geezer or a bloke, would you, like for someone? What is geezer? <laughs> Whoa, he just yeah. hit me with geezer the like, oh, look at that what's geezer. What's a geezer? Geezer is like some like, like somebody Some you like don't dude. mess with? It's, it's just a, it's like another word for a bloat, but a geezer's like more like... A bloat? Yeah, like... like <laughs> <laughs> yo, like you say like... Dude, the, oh God, nah, wow, this is hard, bro. This is hard. I'm not going to lie. I can't lie, man. This is hard. I'm trying to so, like... So like bloat is like like a person... Bloat's is just it's, a it's, guy, yeah. Like oh, so just, just like a regular... Like, yeah, so like, like a stranger. Look at that bloke over there. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. What's this bloat doing? Wait, so can a bloat be cool or like... It's, or bloat is like... Like, look at this dude. Like, yeah, it's kind of like, oh, okay. this bloke over here. Like, uh, like, okay, okay. Oh, like, bloke and chap are kind of interchangeable. Oh, uh, what's what? up, chap? Yeah, what's okay, up? Okay, okay, okay. Chap's like old, oh, old. he's a nice chap. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like nice, jolly good chap, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but I like that's bloke cool. and mate, like mate, though. I say like mate a lot because mate's just like, oh, you right? Like mate's just friend. Like yeah, friend, yeah, yeah. Right, like, yeah, like we'd say like uh, like Brody or bro yeah, or like yeah, dude. Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, yeah, You'd be like, you're right, mate. So what's another, what's one that you think... You, what's some what's what's a word you know that you would put us on to, you know other than the ones that I name? What's 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 a word that you, because we got in it, we got we got a uh, bloke. I'm gonna give you a yeah bloke. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a good one. This isn't a word that probably you'd like throw around in regular talk, but bollocks. 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 What what is it? Balls. You know. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> man said bollocks. He's got big bollocks. Yeah, man's got bollocks. Oh. I've been seeing like man on like, I've been like scrolling feeds and shit and seeing like UK man like chatting to these American girls and be like, you got lovely bollocks, man. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's, that's dumb like, funny. Bollocks. They're like, like, yeah, like, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I do have lovely bollocks. I'm like, man, what? No, that's dumb funny. That is dumb funny. Uh, so what about um, UK Eats versus New York Eats? Because oh, we got man. like, we got, uh, what? We got... I should I should have got you. You ever had an empanada before? I have. Oh, okay. Yes, okay, I've okay. Had an empanada. Beef patty? Yes, I've had a beef patty. Uh, I've had a lot of things while being here. So uh, I'm like, okay. I've kind of, you know, I've had like my, my first share. I'm of going things. into my Jamaican bag now. Yeah. You ever had curry goat? I've not. Uh, but my girl's Jamaican, so she's got to put me on some of the things. Oh, we got a Jamaican. <laughs> oh, my boy. So let's go. Like, like, you know, so, yeah, <laughs> so you, that's a bad thing. <laughs> Isn't it? I've had the jerk, t- I've had the jerk chicken. The jerk chicken? Yeah. 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 You, you like spicy? Oh, bro, it flames my mouth. No, like, it's, I'm, no, I'm it's, like, it, that's all spicy, she eats, man. It's <laughs> I'm like, spicy, bro. bro. It's spicy. <laughs> oh, uh, so what's some, like, if we went to the UK, what's something that, you know, we may, we, we might want to try? So, like, you got, I know, fish and chips is a thing yeah, that's fish and heavy chips over is there. just, like, your default. Like, 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 the thing with a lot of UK food that a lot of Americans, like, when they try it, they're just like, this is so fucking bland. Because uh, it really, it, 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 a lot of it is, but... But that's I also, healthier too, though. It, it, yeah, I guess you could say with some of it, it definitely, like, definitely just in general, like a lot of the food seem to be. But we do have one restaurant that you lot don't have over here. It's not even British food, but it's like a British staple Come on, put thing. Us on, put us on. What Nando's. is it? Nando's. Nando's. It's South African. Ooh. And everyone fucks with Nando's in the UK. If you if you not have a Nando's, if you not, Nando's. there's one Nando's right, one Nando's in the US, and it's in Chicago. So go to Nando's in Chicago. Oh. That's the only one. Com- gotta, comment you, if you've ever been to Nando's Yeah, before. literally, you got to try Nando's. I get the peri-peri chicken. The peri-peri, that get sounds fire. Get a quarter fire. size. Making it's me like, hungry right now. Oh bro, it's goodness. some nice shit. It's That's nice. Fire. It's all like home-cooked style shit. Everyone fucks with Nando's. All the, all the, all the man who fuck with Nando's. Nando's, make sure you get the peri-peri chicken. Dunson said it. 
Uh, so now, um, right. let's talk music, man. So mm. you dropped the Treating Me Differently music video. Yeah. Um, you, got a diff- you got a catalog. Um, mm-hmm. Initially, I, I was focusing on that music video, but then I went and looked on your Apple Music, and I was like, "Oh, you got you got like mm. a good little you know yeah. body of singles that you have." Uh. Um, but specifically, I want to talk about treating me differently. So, uh, tell me about the music video, the concept, and you know, shout out to Tazi. Tazi was in the music video. That's as well. my girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Tazi, man. Yeah, man. So now, nah, so the. The Treat Me Differently video, basically, it started, like, I wrote this song quite a minute ago for it, and it kind of had a different, like, it was on a different beat and stuff, and then I ended up, link, like, DOC sent me it, and mm. I'm just like, oh, shit, I'll, we can, like, restamp this and make it fucking, like, ten times, you know, like, this is, it's got, like, a signature sound to it, so I'm just like, I bet, so we throw the, uh, the vocals on that one. And then that kind of helped, then once that were all in place and together, it helped kind of put together the next step being the music video and I usually storyboard all my shit. I like yeah. to direct a lot of my oh, stuff okay, and kind of nice. have full control over the, the creative aspect of That's it fire. from the beat all the way to the you know the visuals. So for the video it, it were originally going to be it literally is just kind of like a soft kind of it is more of like a friendly commercial video in the sense that it's like a love kind of drill song yeah. but it can also be uh, the way it can be spun and the way that I wanted to put it is that it can also be taken as like because the lyrics are you know i like them girls that treat me differently Mm -hmm. not simply you could take that and you could add a negative spin to it too so you could view it as a love song but you could also view it as like i it's like kind of got it you could have like another twist on it on some other ends of it because there are more aggressive sections and in some of the uh the verses on the actual tune Mm. too so it's like it's really left up to your interpretation but the video is just kind of like lovey-dovey and it's very colourful and you know quick transitions and shout yeah. out Ace obviously for that one with Top yeah, Dogs they did Ace, man. so but yeah so uh, now what's what's the definition of so treating you differently as in like uh, like when they hear the accent they start asking questions <laughs> and you know start saying like hey can you say this uh, in, in uh, uh, you know in your accent or like you mean differently in regards of like you know, just like relationship, and so where were you? Where were you? Where were you kind of like going with it? Were you going like romantically, or were you going, you know, like just in in general? You know, treat me differently. I was kind of saying like treat me differently in a sense of romantically, um, mm. and I feel like in kind of with using that, that were kind of the framework for the sense of me wanting to say that I want this. You know. It, I like you treat me differently because it's like a lot of people treating people the same. Right. And my feeling for it is a, a lot of, I mean, because I've, you know, I fuck with British girls, I fuck with American girls. It's like, so, and there's, there's different kind of like things even culturally too. Right. And that's also kind of part of my message as well because I'm, because I'm a little bit different. It's like, treat me a bit differently in some of these, these aspects in the right. sense that, you know, cult, uh, culturally per se. Yeah. So it's like, and, and it was just pretty much from, you know, from the get go meant to be more of a softer kind of song compared to what I've released prior in my catalogue because some of it's a bit more, um, I guess, harder on the ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, what was it like working with, with my guy DOC, man? Platinum producer yeah, DOC. Mad, if you uh, heard mad, mad. Me Me by J.I., man, that is mm-hmm. one of his uh, hit, um, you know, singles that he is behind, man. Um, but yeah, what was it like working with DOC, man? Good friend of mine, man. Yeah. What, was that, what was that like cooking working up? Because you also produce as well. Yeah. So like, I've cooked how was that connection? Him. Yeah, so cooking up with DOC is always lit. Because I usually, um, not even just for Treat Me Differently, but we've got a few other things we've got under wraps that are also, you know, the behind the scenes, isn't it? And some of them are, uh, are obviously projects we kind of just like, we've got like some where it's beats as well and just shit like that. Like he'll send me beats and I've sent some through and yeah. shit like that too. But for Treat Me Differently, that was literally all from my ends because he'd sent me the beat over and then I literally just did it in my, because I have a home studio as well. So I just oh, did it all in my home studio. So <laughs> so I learned to mix. Yeah. So I did it all myself. But So when, uh, when you and D- DOC cooking up, like, mm. is it, how, like, is there a, you mainly find a melody and then like he does the hi-hats and like you do the 808s or something like that or do you guys kind of like intertwine and it's, you it's know? been intertwined we, we wanted to I, I definitely said i wanted to do it like that at some point with him i'd spoke where we do like one aspect of it 
and then another aspect being one person do a melody, one person do like the drums or something, and then mm. merge it together. And because it's like each person's got different thoughts in the fucking head, you don't yeah, know, you know what's sure. coming out of for it. Sure. So it's just like it could be mad, it could be, I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah, you never know, you never know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, what's the what's the like the most creative uh, like beat you guys ever, you know, like, is it mainly like drill or are you doing pop beats? Like what, what type of beats do you guys normally make together? Hip hop? Or we've, we've not actually made too many like beats together, but mm. we've done, we've done more of like with me recording and he's interjected his beats or, I, or we've kind of like, we, we've wanted to have like a proper cook up session. And that's my note to him right now. Cause he needs to fucking get back and we'll, we'll do one. You heard it. Man, you heard it. Doc. We need to get it in. Like, I, did, I you know I've done some other stuff for him, but it's like a producing thing with both producers. Like, yeah. <laughs> like so. And Doc, just, Doc be on set, on his artists. Yeah, shit too, he bro. is. I've heard his things the, too. He's, just, he's good. It's good. So yeah, I'm just like yeah. I'm preying both of it. I'm preying both of it. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Um, so now, uh, what, what, what? When it comes to you know, staying on the producer tip real quick. Mm. When it comes to beats, what catches your ear on beats? Usually, a lot of my beats that I liked are, are beats that that catch my ear just in general are things with like tones of organic instruments. Mm. I like when there's there's like either a guitar or like a flute or something that's like in the melody, but I also like uh, a lot of ambient kind of melodies as well. I like okay. synths and like low kind of pads and shit. Okay. And I like just the drums to be different. Like mm. I don't like these, like, like those fucking, uh, a lot like those, it's like the just generic like drill beats, like the New York drill or the ones that are just like the same kind of thing. Yeah, like, I same can't, cadence, same, like, yeah. Yeah, so like. Same kick, all that. Exactly, it's just like, and it's like, what's the interest in that? And they, they all have got like crazy like rises and shit all to each mm -hmm, drop, mm -hmm. but there's like no substance in the beat. So it's yeah. just like, there's gotta be like an element of that. Cause I feel like the beat, like for me at least, the beat and the artist has to like kind of merge into one another. For sure. And it can't just be the artist sitting on the beat mm -hmm. or the beat sitting over the artist it has to kind of yeah it's got to be a nice a nice little marriage yeah. for sure so. for sure um speaking of producers man uh hunter g man oh hunter he's g, my guy that's my guy beat yeah uh, I, I, i'm trying to think if i actually met him before in person yeah we might, have met once. Minute. we might have met once but uh even with him talk about your you know your connection oh, yeah. with him yo uh, <laughs> my guy hunter shout out hunter personally i fucking love you man nah this guy um I literally, I released a music video in 2022 uh, called Get Ready and it was like the first one of my singles being Dunstan and I think he ended up hitting me up from it mm -hmm. on, on Insta and we just kind of like, I was in his like Discord server and shit and I, I kind of did some like managing and stuff and then we kept saying well, we're going to link up and then we started doing cook-ups. I've done a lot of cook-up sessions with him mm. so and I've got a lot of kind of like a few beats done as well. Um, aside from it and a few songs recorded behind closed doors coming soon coming but, soon. but my guy Hunter, he did a madness because he were up here i was producing with him um in troy and then he ended up moving to the city and putting this his master plan into work so this take a seat rap on the beat thing oh yeah thing that's cr it's going crazy on tiktok off. and all that it yeah. went insane crazy um, I, I did i think i did my video earlier on i think mine were like the 15th or something mm. it, it were like one of the kind of earlier ones but then it's like i've been seeing now like other big artists get on it i'm just like what the yeah you know this is crazy yeah, no, it's like millions of views mad. so yeah check that out Hunter. yeah what's this what's his uh tiktok do you know i think it's just Hunter g, Hunter, Hunter Hunter g. g. Yeah, yeah yeah check it out man um so now uh the music scene in uk man mm. so we got uh skepta was doing his thing for mm, a while yeah um we got dave yeah oh, oh, got central yeah, c yeah so yeah, yeah. uh what well, what's what like when you tap back into you know the the UK, mm. well, what's 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 the vibe out there like musically? If if you could, you know, I feel the vibe out there it. is it's very different. Like it's just different, and I I really kind of pioneer the the sound that is coming out of the UK, and that's where most of my influence comes from, where I'm from. So it's like I I want to kind of project that because I feel a lot of it is very unique and it's under wraps, mm -hmm. and I feel like we've kind of got our own little thing going on in the UK and just like Europe in general, like UK music kind of is fluent throughout a lot of Europe yeah. as opposed to like, like obviously mixed in with American music, but like the UK energy is just a different thing too. It's just a different sound. Obviously Dave did a madness, Central C did a madness. They just had Sprinter, yeah. which did crazy, crazy numbers. Skepta yeah. with the OG grime shit, which mm -hmm. that was the stuff that I used to listen to yeah. with grime yeah. getting onto rapping. So yeah. we're like, 
but nah, it's it's just a whole different sound, and I, and I, you know, not even just like the UK drill, but like just some of the other UK rap too are just influences from it. it it's 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 kind of its own. You can't really. I feel like you can't really categorize it with anything yeah. else because it is if, just standalone. If someone wanted to uh, expand their UK like palette of music, who are some artists that you could just name? Give me oh, like man. three artists that you'd be like, right. yo, these these people are like super dope upcoming UK artists. Yeah, J Hus. J okay. Hus is a madness. Um, I mean, Digger D. He's also a man. He's Central mm. C's uh, opposite dude. And then H. And I say H right. A I T C H. That guy's from. Um, up near me mm. and he he just went absolutely viral and he's just like a kid just like me like same he, i think he's only like three years older than me or something yeah but same kind of scenario and he blew up in that and his accent's different to london man so london oh. man are hearing that and they're like oh shit where the fuck is this guy from and they're like oh he's from up north oh. and they're like oh the northern like the northern people had like some some influence on it so oh it's just so like, is that uh, is that how it works different regions of london have like different Lon accents? London, yeah, well, the UK has got like 175 different accents. Oh, yeah, shit. all in the same, just like, and you could go like five minutes over to the next town and it's different accent. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> I gotta go. I've never been. Yeah, right, yeah, go. you gotta I check gotta it go. out. Yeah. yeah, I gotta, I gotta go uh, visit my uncle Vin, man. So that's mm -hmm. Uncle Vin. Um, so now, uh, what are some places that you could see yourself performing at? Oh my, and this is just. A, a widespread question as to like have you ever performed in the uk i've not i would love to okay yeah because you started to. you said eight and then you've been here for like yeah, nine. So. yeah I, i'd love to perform in definitely in the uk just a lot of like europe in general like i really fuck with a lot so of give me give me a, give me a top five i'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one uh, so so you so let's yeah, just say uk yeah uh uk definitely canada, canada? toronto is one of like the places i really Fire. Like perform. Fire. um honestly probably like germany Germany. And I said Germany, like That's sp dope. Spain as well, and just any of the European like mm. countries. I'm like, and then we'll probably put it down to honestly probably the Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah, I like. Uh, I That's Dutch. fire. That's Dutch fire. That's fire. Uh, so now, um, where do you see yourself in five years? I know this is a very uh, you know this is it's uh, not, it's right. a typical question, but yeah, where, where do you where do you see your uh, you know your career being? So traveling, you know. Germany, you know, like where, where do you see yourself or you aspire your career to kind of like, you know, traject to? Five years, I believe it all have really kind of um, flourished in a sense. And I think that I will have uh, more of an influence and I guess I will have f figured more things out yeah. uh, as I go along because it's, you know, they, I've got a lot of kind of aspirations from um, just being an artist. I want to go on to do other companies. I've got other like things I want to use to build a platform in order to kind of, you know, build a face, build a brand. And then it's like, I have a potential to invest into other brands mm -hmm. or make my own other brands. And I just branch out into different in industries and have yeah. one big thing. So with, with the art, obviously being an artist and having that, that face, that is, I want to have more of a, a global influence. And I also want to be able to bridge the gap as well. And when mm -hmm. I say bridge the gap, I mean, between UK and US with a lot of the music, it's getting closer, but I feel like I, I really want to have, and I believe I'll have a, a, a big step in actually helping the, the build that merge. closer with, because I don't know another UK artist that's out here. Right. No, that's it's like true. in the position that I'm in that is doing the same thing as me. No, it's true. It's true. It's true. And uh, more and more, I just kept hearing about, you know, your name and then seeing mm. you perform at a couple of the uh, MBB you yeah, know, showcases and such. Things. And um, yeah, man, I, you definitely did your thing this summer. And um, I'm glad, uh, you know, P got you on, you know, my radar and for us yeah, to, to yeah, do this interview. Yeah, definitely. For yeah, sure. he's a, yeah. Um, so cool. next question is, so what do you feel like uh, you bring to the hip hop culture? You know, you said you, <clears throat> um, you know, you're from UK, you want to bring that merge, but what, do, what would make people want to gravitate towards Dunstan? I feel like I want to provide um, in something that I feel has seen it that is, uh, in a sense, pretty saturated with a lot of uh, artists. Um, I feel like I want to kind of bring this um, kind of sense of relatability mm. and not only by, you know, because my, my music and a lot of people, are, people have said this to me that my music, you know, like is very different to obviously who I am as a person yeah. and when they meet me and stuff, because some of my stuff's like pretty either aggressive on it or it's, it's got more of a, um, 
it's just got a very kind of imposing kind of sound to it, where it right. it's got a dominant sound and that's what I aim for because people want that energy. Mm -hmm. um, but I also want to provide and with it the fact that I am also like a face too and I want people to be able to relate to me and also find, um, you know, comfort in the sense that I'm a real person. Right, right, and right. That, you know, it, that I'm simply setting out to accomplish kind of the dreams and stuff that I've always had. I like that. I like that. Uh, so now my last question, man. So I always ask people mm. um, this question because a lot of people discredit the importance and the impact that music can have on another yeah. individual. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the brand is it's more than music. Mm -hmm. So why for Dunstan is it more than just music? Because for me, music is a gateway to all of the creative opportunities and with music comes along with you know community you've got literally obviously visuals you're providing yeah. different like entertainment sectors uh, a, a position to actually you know project their work onto it too mm -hmm. so the music influences so much more. And i mean music's a very powerful tool to begin with so and obviously what comes along with it is every other you know i mean music videos you everything got, else just yeah. literally everything else and i'd you know like you think of also um as well you can think of one thing without the other but the one thing about music though is it's like there isn't another aspect to music you got to listen to music yeah you can't watch music yeah <laughs> yeah true <laughs> so true. it's like you can watch a show without having the sound on right and have subtitles mm -hmm. and still be able to use that sense but yeah. You know, music, you're gonna hear it. Yeah, that's a good answer, man. That's a good answer. Uh, so before we get out of here, man, let the people know um, where they could find you on Instagram. So you can find me at Dunstan, uh, which is D U N S T A N. And my Instagram's weird. So <laughs> the N has four other ends after it, making it five ends. So it's Dunstan with five ends. But yeah, that's on Instagram. It, this. I think somebody else like nicked my name or something. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get yeah. the, the buy, normal. Buy them out. Yeah, buy I'm, out. I'm fucking like, <laughs> like really? Who's it? Some like deactivated like some, some bloke. Like, oh, yeah, it's some. Like, exactly, some, some fucking wanker that's just like man's just like on the side like. Nah, I'll be pressed about that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, check them out, man. Dunstan. That's five ends. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you on uh, TikTok and YouTube yeah. and stuff? On uh, TikTok, it should be uh, Dunstan Music altogether. And YouTube, it's just Dunstan. Same with Apple Music, Spotify, it's all Dunstan. Vivo, it's Dunstan. Uh, all those ones, it's the same thing. So, Yes, sir. And uh, yeah. make sure you check out the uh, new music video uh, and song, Treat Me Differently. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Check out Treat Me Differently. From uh, the U.S. to the U.K. and all over the world, man. We're going global, man. Think, yes, sir. Support local. Think, glo think local. Support mm -hmm. global, all right? Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. the madness yeah, peace. and badness. <laughs> combination. <laughs> combination. <laughs> nah. I said combination at the end. That was golden. Nah, yeah. <laughs>